Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I will show you how to add, delete, and modify accounts in the QuickBooks Online chart of accounts list. Starting out on the QuickBooks Online dashboard, click the gear icon in the top right-hand corner of your screen and select chart of accounts from the pop-up window as shown here. Next, click the green new button in the upper right corner of the screen to access the account setup window for your new account. From the new account setup form, you can select your account type, such as income, expenses, banks, or assets. The latest QuickBooks version has a new and improved account setup form. When you click the new button, a pop-up account creation screen will appear on the right-hand side, which looks totally different from the older version. The new account setup form is better as it makes it easier to select categories and you can see where exactly your new account will show up on your reports. Once you select the appropriate category, you must fill in the following fields. Select the appropriate account from the drop down menu. The available accounts will vary based on the account type you selected. Now select the category that best describes your new account. This can be used by your accountant to complete your sales tax forms. Next, you'll wanna provide a name for your account that will make it easy for you to distinguish when choosing accounts to post transactions. For instance, instead of checking account, it might be better to include the bank name in the last four digits of the account number, like US Bank Checking 1234. If you wish to use accounting numbers and this field is not available, you must enable account numbers as shown in my guide on how to set up advanced settings in QuickBooks Online. You may also want to provide an optional description of the new account. Another useful feature found in the new account setup form is the new account preview section. You will be able to see where the new account shows up in your reporting. When you are satisfied with your answers, click either the green Save and Close button or the drop down arrow next to it and select Save and New if you want to create another account. To edit an existing account, find the account in the Chart of Accounts screen and click the drop down arrow next to Run Report. Next, select Edit and open the Account Setup screen. The fields available in the account setup screen are the same fields as discussed in the previous section. Make the needed changes to the account and then click the green save and close button. Instead of deleting accounts in QuickBooks Online, you must mark them as inactive. If the account has never been used in a transaction, the account will no longer count towards your maximum number of accounts. If the account has been used in a transaction, the history of the account will be retained and the account will continue to count towards your maximum. From the chart of accounts screen, click the drop down arrow next to run report for the account you wish to make inactive. Then select Make Inactive from the drop down list. QuickBooks Online creates a default chart of accounts list based on the industry you selected when you set up your QuickBooks Online company. I recommend reviewing this default chart of accounts to determine what accounts need to be added, edited, or deleted. While the default chart of accounts is a good place to start, most companies will want to adjust it to fit their needs. The platform also requires detailed information for each account, including both the account type and detail type. It's very important that you properly classify accounts so that QuickBooks Online can operate effectively. For instance, 
you must list your accounts receivable account with the account type accounts receivable. Otherwise, QuickBooks Online won't know to increase this account whenever you issue a new customer invoice. Similarly, your inventory account must have the detail type inventory so that QuickBooks Online knows which account to increase when you purchase products. And there you have it. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks online coaching or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email me or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.